And now let's talk to this guy again. Let's see what he says. Incredible thing. Then is a prize. A gnome spread. So is the world map. So we don't actually need that thing. But I think we can sell it for a bit. So I think uh, this place here we don't actually have to go to this place. But I want to do it because I think I can buy some stuff in here. Like magic. I think some new magic. Yes, we got sight. Place a uh, detailed map and it's just some tools I'm gonna buy. And every level 2 spell. It says level 3, but I mean level 2 damage spell. Level 2 fire, level 2 blizzard, and level 2 thunder. We got here, but we already got that. Very important. Teleport. And I'm gonna buy the other stuff because I don't have that much money. And one level 2 uh, spell is enough, actually. So here we go. Sight and teleport. Teleports parties out of dungeons. Very important for in the game. When you're in the end of um, a dungeon, you want to go back and don't want to walk. You might want to just teleport. But I'm not gonna do this much because I want to battle to gain some more experience. Because I need to level up, obviously. Okay, let's see what armor we can get. Oh, some new stuff. Could buy the flame mail, but it's a bit too expensive. Okay, a headband. A Kenpo G. And. Should we go Mage Rope? No, I wanna see what weapons there are first. Because maybe we're gonna get some claws and something for Raffia. I got got some defense, and now we sh we have to go to the other side of this whole town to get to the weapon shop. So just run around here, up, up there, and here we are, the weapon shop. Yeah, that's some awesome stuff, but no cloth. Dang it. We don't need that. We could need a fire staff for Raffia, but... It's a bit too expensive, actually. Uh, it's better to buy um, the mage ropes instead of one um, fire staff. Still no claws for um, Ingus. Where the hell do we find some? Damn it. Okay, so now we buy um, two mage ropes. Which raises their defense by um, 10 more than before. Quite awesome. We get quite some defense other than before, where they were just very weak against um, physical attacks. Bucking Dagger, I don't need that. Mithra Sword, don't need that. Don't need that and that. No more spread, stupid. And. There we go. Now let's see. 3,400 chill. Awesome. Okay, you might want to talk to these guys in this town and fight some, uh, find some stuff out about this world and all that, but I won't do it. But we will do heal up. Even though we don't actually need it that much, but I don't still want to heal up. It doesn't cost that much. And we need every bit of HP and MP that we can get.
And he still sleeps like a log. So now we actually have to go to um, some other place. And it's on the north side. On the west northern island there. Where our ship is. And I'm gonna go back to our ship and um, with Chakra of course to avoid random battles. Because the random balance here don't give that much experience, so it's pretty much a waste of time. Oh yeah, and you can't enter this floating tree. Okay, I can run around like this and look what's in here. Yeah, the chocobo can run on water, but actually not climb can cannot climb waterfalls it says there. Not that much to explore in here. So let's take our ship. Once you get off, the chocobo runs away. Cute. I'm just saying what everyone thinks. Those are cute. So, we now sail up here. And here's another castle. But, it's empty. Because this is actually um, the castle of King Argus. But I'm gonna tell you now, it's empty. Because um, the inhabitants are gone, but still I want to search for some um, hidden passages to find some treasures. So I have a look on the wall, there it is. You can see on the wall there's a hidden passage, or at least it's supposed to be one, but... Huh? Uh, is that supposed to be a hidden passage? Okay, I don't get this. I really don't get this. Should be in passage. Okay, anything in here? Nope. I think there's nothing out here as well. Yeah, let's bring there to revive your form party members. Well, we don't have any form party members. Okay, now why can't I go through this stupid wall? Whoops, that was wrong button. I mean, it's signed as... Hey, I'm an obscured wall. Ah, okay. We'll c actually come back and visit this place later in the game, so... Screw this. Okay, now before I actually go on, I want to visit a place where I've actually been before. But where enemies were too strong for me. And it's actually an optional place. Ah, uh, kill a fish. But I still want to show it to you. Because I've actually never been there. Because the first time I saw it, I ran away. Because the enemies were much too strong. But I never visited again. Boom. So let's have a look inside. Maybe the enemies are still too strong, but I don't think that. I think it won't hurt to take a look. And it's up there, back in uh, Casas. No, oh, the fights in here are too easy. Don't forget we start our invention here. It's one down. And another one down. Six experience points, that's nearly nothing. Come on. Yeah, no other fight. So now before I gonna do this I'm gonna save first because I actually don't know if I'm strong enough yet. Or maybe I'm too strong. Because I've I should have visited this place earlier. So let's have a look. So it's the Mithril mine in here, I think it's Fiend's Mithril mine, not sure. Um in here. You visited this place earlier and your first game is done and you Dark 
where I got completely smashed. Now let's see. Oh, these enemies. They're not too hard. These are the same in the other cave. Though I think they're a bit stronger. Okay, I definitely the end strong for this place. These skeletons have around 60 HP or 70 something around that. Woohoo, job level up and a high potion. Awesome. 